All right, let's get this started. Two households, both of lack of dignity, except for the fact that they're all sworn enemies. Now you see, blood runs deep, so an act to the other is done there cheap. There's Verona, where the prince rules all, yet somehow cannot stop this ancient brawl. It all started when some Capulet took Montague for a dump. When it came up to him, biting his thumb, he said, I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. Then the other shuddered back, yeah, sure. So they drew their blades, and the townsmen prayed that the city would go up the flame. Meanwhile, Romeo was all stuck up about all the lovey-dovey stuff. The girl's name was Rosaline, but he couldn't care less for the couple Go for all the Einstein. Because as soon as he saw Juliet, he was sure he'd marry a Capulet. Uh, yeah, uh, Benvolio and Mercutio weren't too happy because Romeo was still acting all sappy, so they went to the Capulet mask. And that's where Romeo got this task. To go get At the crack of dawn, everyone was gone. gone. And Romeo was getting kind of crazy. He went to his boy, Hong G. Lawrence. He gave him a slap across his desperate face. Home G said, Why are you staying up so late? late? Romeo yelled back, Home G, we gotta set up a okay. date. I met this girl at the Capitol Mask. And she gave me this ridiculous task to go and get married. So Hong G set Romeo up, and the next morning they were up. The lovers went down to G's cell, and he shrugged his shoulders and said, What, what the, the hell? Next thing you know, they were married. It turned out to be really scary, scary. because the next corner Romeo took, Tybalt and Mercutio were fighting by the book. Until Romeo tried to stop the fight, which led to events later on that night where Tybalt was slain, and later that night, Romeo got laid. He told him he was exiled, so Romeo packed up his stuff. He let out a sigh and a large pop. He was going to manage a walk. Meanwhile, Juliet was in some trouble because the Catholic parents decided it was time to rumble. rumble. She, they said, Thursday is the day you marry County Paris. Mm. But Juliet was all like, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, no. She had given up everything for Romeo. Now she was in some really deep woe. Went to home oh. deep. Gave her an option. option. It's either lay with the dead or go up for adoption. So that night, Juliet told her parents they were right. right. And she stopped acting all. Acting! Uh, in a few hours, she wouldn't be in bed. The girl ended up next to Home G the sent dead. a letter with his trusted friend. friend. His name was Friar John. And John. that's about where it ends. And because John had to catch up with some old Mary. And the next thing you know, he had to play. Romeo oh. was already on the case when his servant Balthazar ran to him like it was a race. race. He said, I don't mean to be a pain, but I need to tell you, Juliet's face turned navy blue. Oh. I saw her being carried away, not talking, probably because her face was stuffed in her coffin. It wasn't really thorough, so Romeo didn't know. Juliet was just asleep, waiting for her Romeo to stop her weak. Too bad he didn't get the message. This dude was really desperate. Bought poison from some old hag, put it inside his bag. And he went off to the tomb. As soon as Romeo did. got to the tomb, tomb, there was Paris weeping too. Two. Paris told Romeo to go away, Wait. away, but he had all the attention to, to stay. Just had nothing to lose, so he ended up killing Paris Romeo too. Romeo Juliet laying down. down, that gave him a large frown. She looked too pretty to be dead. Maybe something should have clued into his head. That's what desperation did to the man. His head was jumbled with all these stupid plans, so he killed himself. Left Juliet a widow too, so what do you think? She had to do. Got up. I Home G told her to run away. run away. He said he'd make her a nun for the rest of her days, but one day was too much without Romeo, Romeo. so she, she got, got up and killed herself with a single cat to it's Montague's a type. Joined together by the story of life first sight. Fight. Let this be a lesson for those who hate trying to stop love is just outright. If you live in peace, you'll win the feud, or else you'll end up like these poor dudes. Dude. No daughter or son to speak of, all because it didn't approve of love. love. Damn. For what? Boy MC Caravan and MC Bench Boy. And my here's boy. MC Livestrong. Ow. Welcome to the Society of Uncompromising Men. Well, well, why, why is it good?